know if you can see the top of my head or not. But um, I've had a couple of questions about my mixture, my recipe, um, and everybody does it a little bit differently, but this is what I use. Um, and I'm just gonna show you a really easy example. I'm gonna drink up with eight ounces. Artist Loft acrylic paint. 4.06 ounce tube. Eight ounces, four ounces. Two thirds, one third. This is the easiest way to do it, especially for something like black where I'm gonna make a lot. Um, otherwise, this is how I measure. There's eight ounces in here, and I watch the edge. I've moved this around so the edge is kind of blah, blah, blah. But you can still see the base where, and I have leveled this table out a little bit. Um, but as you add paint in, you see the edge rise. So if I had four ounces of flow trial in a measuring cup, and I wanted to put two ounces in, I would keep adding paint until the edge of the flow trial went up, okay? Same thing for measuring volume in science class, okay? Easy peasy. So I want this to go to the 12. In theory, it should with four ounces of paint. Now the density in this paint, of course, is thicker than Low chawl, but I am getting down to the end of it and I haven't quite hit 12 yet. So, and with a color like black, you do want it to be a little bit more opaque. So, I just emptied the tube, four ounces of paint, into rah, eight ounces of flow chawl. And then I will thin it out as needed with. Um, water. Now, <laughs> it's right on my measuring thing, but actually, I don't know if you can see that. I, this is clear and it's really, really hard to read these. So I just took magic marker and put it over the top. So just, uh, so right there, that is my 12 ounce line right there. And you see right where the edge of that flow trawl is. So four ounces of paint, Eight ounces of flow trawl. Found these larger, much larger sticks compared to these tiny little things. Um, Home Depot had these. It was 30 sticks. Quart paint sticks. 30 pack, 99 cents. Um, so when I'm <laughs> mixing larger batches like this, or if I have a deeper cup like this. Um, yes, I know this has been used. I'd like to keep these to reuse them for stands um, because let's face it, uh, our environment isn't getting any better uh, with our help of using stuff like this. So I try to use reuse these as much as possible after I've uh, extinguished my possibilities. Um, I use this as a base for when I spray my tiles, put this in a box, painter's tape on the back, kind of adheres it a little bit and keeps it from sliding around. And that's how I spray my stuff, which I will be testing more sprays in the upcoming month. Um, still, I'm looking for people to recommend different types of um, finishes. whether it's spray or paint on for tiles, for coasters. Um, black is kind of the easiest to see as you're mixing too. Um, <laughs> really hard when you're mixing white. No idea. No idea if it's really mixed very well. 
just kind of go by the consistency as you're mixing it. You can kind of see if it's like a chunk, in, like when you pick it up like this, if there's a chunk. It's like, oh, that must be white paint. Just really scrape, 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 scrape. But with the black, you can see all the little like gray swirls in it. This is still really thick. I'm gonna have to add a bit of water to this. Um, I've considered using a gloss medium just to try it, but you know, those are pricey. And at the end of the day, this is a hobby. So mix, 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 mix till it looks uniform in consistency and there's no flow trawl stuck along the edges. And I don't like to add more than 20, 30% water. I mean, if I'm doing a Dutch pour, I'm obviously gonna have to thin it out a little bit, but um, so, at this being 12 ounces, I wouldn't want to add more than, say, three, three and a half ounces of water. Which, I lost one of my caps for my white. Lost the cap. No idea where it is. Um, all the other ones show up really well, especially these little ones. They're red. Um, and these are attached. Uh, most of these I've clipped. You see? Boop. Because when I open it, if I can't set it to the side, sometimes paint, if I have it flopped there when I'm pouring, paint will drip. Not cool. Even when I use a paper towel to, to lift it off, it's still drips out of the cap. Super annoying. Um, but these all have colored paint in them, so even when I take them off and set them aside, I can tell which one they are. Obviously, that's a black. But <laughs> this is cerulean blue. So I didn't put turquoise and cerulean blue um, in the same kind of bottle with the same kind of cap because they're too similar. Thinking ahead a little bit. All right, so that's blue. So I had to take the cap off of my Floetrol water mixture, which is mostly water. I just use a bottle, bottle water, cheap bottled water. Um. to be careful when the water's on top. I have learned this too. You start swooshing it around too fast, it just goes slosh right off the side. It's awesome. Especially when it starts getting full like this. So this is my recipe. Um, in previous videos you'll see where the edge, I had to re-pour like my ocean pour, beach pour. Um, that uh, sunset one that I did, ugh, sick about that because I love it. It's so pretty. Um, that one was the edge was completely you see right through it, and I figured it out. I'm like, ah, I'm not using enough paint because when you pour it, it looks beautiful, looks great. Um, this dries clear, so if there's not enough paint in it to hold the color. Just look at it, barely tinted blow jaw. It's better, maybe a little bit more. And it, it just, oh. So this is the new recipe. This is the new concoction. Um, things are drying much better with this. Uh, 
um, except for the magenta. Uh, the magenta, quinacridone magenta from, um, this is uh, Liquitex Basics. Um, it, I have that at 50-50 now uh, because it was not showing up in my stuff. So that seems to have made a difference. That's much better. Much better. There we go. That's it. So let me scrape the edge here and I can tell you. What we're left with. So I've added about two ounces of water to this because we're at 14. So finished product is for this particular mixture and this particular day is four ounces of Artist Loft Mars Black, eight ounces of Floetrol, two ounces of water mixed with a touch of Floetrol. And that's what I'm gonna pour back into my bottle and the rest is gonna be used to prep my next canvas. So there it is. That's my recipe. And uh, it seems to be working pretty well so far. Um, hey, look what I just found. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, good, great. Blooper reel, it's going in. Um, thanks for watching, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I hope you guys have been helped by my bumbling along and trying to figure this all out. Um, I have so much fun doing this, I'm glad that I feel better um, enough to be out here sitting at the moment, but um, Thanks for uh, everybody that has had nice things to say, and um, I am always open to any comments, suggestions, um, critiques that you have. Um, I take constructive criticism well, if you're just going to be a, a, well, you know, <laughs> that's fine, go right ahead. It makes you look bad, not me. So. Um, Thank you everybody that watches and is supportive and I, I hope you are having fun learning with me. Take care.